I got two questions this morning about raising money and they're great questions, so I wanted to share them with you. You gotta build your business around your life and not your life around your business. Business ads are gonna sell you a fake lifestyle of supercars and fancy mansions. You can get a business up and running really quickly. The first one is when did we decide to take on funding and why? We were growing quickly in the first year at Trainual, so what made us actually decide to raise money? Well, it's a pretty simple answer. First, I ran out of money and I needed some from someone else. So the first lesson there is before you take on investment and sell a piece of your business, exhaust every resource that you have available to you because if you don't believe enough to put in your money, why would an investor? That was my take at least. So even though we were growing so quickly, I had offers for investment, but I didn't want to take someone else's money. And that's because if I could use my money to grow the business and to prove out the business and gain traction, then we were just going to get a higher uh, investment valuation when we did decide to raise. So for me, that meant tapping into all of my credit cards, my savings, and just running up a ton of credit card debt, which I'm not necessarily recommending unless you know what the money is used for. And that is the second piece of why we decided to take funding is we knew exactly what $1 or $100 of Facebook ads could produce for our business. We had mapped out the funnel and that's part of what we had proven before we raised money. So when we went to raise money, it was A, because I was out of my own money and B, because I knew exactly what I was gonna do with that investor money. It would be terrible to raise investment capital and burn through it because at the end of that, somebody still owns a percentage of your business and you might not have anything to show for it. So I always recommend to prove something out, prove out your funnel, prove out your core economics in your business, or prove out that you can acquire a ton of customers. Like you've got to prove something. And if you've got that flywheel going and you know exactly where you'll put the money, then it could make sense to raise it because it'll speed up the process of your growth. So that was why we decided to raise money and when we decided to raise money. The next question was where? So when we set out to raise money, Train is based in Arizona, Scottsdale, Arizona. And the question I got was, why did we decide to raise money in Arizona versus looking elsewhere? So again, it's a pretty simple answer, but I had been building relationships in Arizona for 10 years before trying to raise money for Train Yule. So when I needed the money, when I wanted to raise money for Train Yule, it was a few phone calls and a few weeks to get that done, which was a really simple process because I had been planning for it long before the business even started. So I think the key lesson here is you've got to over communicate what you're doing. You've got to show that you're launching something. You've got to show people that you've got customers. You've got to show momentum because then they'll start offering you money long before you need it. And that way, when I was ready to ask someone to cut a check, it was a phone call to say, now's the time. Let's talk and let's hash out the details. Now I could have gone outside of Arizona and eventually we did. With our Series A raise, we raised from two companies in the Midwest, two firms. Um, but that was again, after some relationship building. So I suggest build those relationships long before you need the money, know what you're gonna do with the money. That way when you do raise it, you know exactly where you're gonna put it and exactly how much you need to grow the business for it to be a good deal. Now the next thing, the last thing I'll mention is that whenever you're taking money from an outside investor, it reduces your piece of the pie. It dilutes your ownership percentage in the company. And so you can do some quick math to say, all right, if I'm gonna raise at this valuation, I instantly, as soon as that money hits the bank, I go from 100% or 80% or whatever it is that you have down to 60 or 40% or whatever it is. And now that percentage of the valuation you just raised is a much smaller dollar amount. And so you've got the pressure now to put that money to good, good use, to grow the business to at least a valuation so that your 60% of the new valuation is worth what your 100% of the old valuation was. So do that math a little bit in your head. Make sure you're super confident that by taking that money and putting it to work in the way that you think you can, you're gonna grow the valuation of the business so that your net dollar ownership in the business, not your percentage, but your dollar ownership in the business is growing. That's why you raise capital. That's why you take on investment. And so if you build those relationships over time, and you report on your progress, you show traction, you prove out your model. I think taking funding for a piece of your business can be a really great decision to help propel your growth as long as you know what to do with it.